Hi guys, welcome to Malvinus Music. Today I'm going to show you how to program sequences in Step Edit on the Juno X. Let's go! First, we choose a sound. We look for it among those in the model Juno 106. Here's one we like. Now, we go into menu and go to choose the ARP mode. You see, it is set to iARP, but we are going to choose step mode. Let's leave the grid of 16 steps. At this point, we go to write our sequence by pressing step edit. We start it not on the beat of the first quarter, but on the upbeat of the first quarter. So it will be... Let's see how it sounds. We then set up our sequence. In order to listen it in scene mode, we must first remove the arpeggio mode on part 1, which is preset to iARP. What we do, simply, is set the ARP mode of part 1 to off. This way we will have the sequence only on part 2, the part whose notes we just wrote down. And now, let's see how it sounds in scene mode. See, this is a static sequence, in the sense that it does not follow the pitch of the note I am playing, plus it plays in whatever area of the keyboard I press a key. Ok, now we want to add a bass line. So let's go to part 3. I remind you that we have on part 1 a pad and on part 2 our static sequence. So, let's go there and choose a bass sound that's right for us. Let's go to Model Juno 106 and let's choose this, for example. Ok. Let's say this is our bass. Let's go and do the same thing as before. We go to Edit and set the ARP mode to Step again. But this time let's also set uh, step key shift to on. This way the sequence will no longer be static, but will follow the pitch of the note we are going to play. So step edit and we are going to write an arpeggio like this. And 
And now let's set the drums. Part R. R mode on step once again. Bass drum on one and three. Snare drum on two and on four. Let's play the hi-hats live. And at this point, we listen to everything again. Mm, it sounds like iARP is on again on part one. In fact, it is still on iARP. Okay, now... Wait, wait, wait! As you can see, the bass also follows the high notes, and this is not good. So let's go to track 3, the bass track, and set the range in ARP common, so that the highest note is limited to the lower part of the keyboard. Here, for example, like this. And now we are really there. Guys, see you next time!